Welcome, welcome, welcome to So You Mean to Tell Me, the podcast. This episode actually was not scheduled, so it's serving as a bonus episode. But today is March 8th, which would have been my late brother Khalil's 23rd birthday. So I felt it was only right, it was only necessary to do a podcast episode in his honor. So for this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about our best times, our memories. Um, We're going to talk a little bit about the funeral. And I'm also going to spread awareness on gun violence because it needs to be talked about. So this one is for you, Khalil. I hope you love it. Happy birthday. It's so crazy even being on here talking about this the way I have to. It's so crazy to me that we're even having to celebrate yet another birthday without him. Uh, My brother passed away in May of 2021 and it feels like it just happened. Like every holiday, every birthday, it just feels like they're ripping your freaking heart out all over again. Like it just, I don't know, it's just... Some things are hard to explain, right? But um, this is a happy celebration, and today is the 8th, which would have been his 23rd birthday. And I think the funniest thing about him being born on the 8th, I remember always talking about it. Um, My sister, her birthday is June 9th, and my birthday is July 9th. And we always was like, boy, why did you mess up the flow? Everybody was born on the 9th, and here you come out on the 8th. So we used to just always pick with him and mess with him about that. So that's something that always makes me smile when I think about it. Um, Another thing that I think is really funny, y'all, is Khalil actually is, by definition, my stepbrother. But if he was around, he would have never called me that. He would have, he tells everybody, me and my sister, we was his sisters. Like, we wasn't his stepsister. We weren't family by marriage, no, none of that. We was just family. We was just brother and sister. So, I think the funniest thing is, like, going down to Tennessee with my sister to go visit our dad and our dad like he 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 swore up and down that Khalil's mom wasn't his boo thing but we knew what it was like they be trying to lie so bad but we knew what it was but they swore up and down we would they were just friends so he would take us and she would take Khalil and we would just like all go out you know do water parks go out to eat just cool things like that and I never forget this shout out to Sage Gemini bruh I never forget this this is when the red nose came out so whatever year this was y'all but red nose came out and i remember we was at cc's house his my dad's wife and we were over there and we had them doing the freaking red nose and from that day on y'all they couldn't hide it they couldn't deny it love was in the air and ever since then their relationship was public so i think that's the funniest story because we literally put them together even though they was already together we brought them to the light and so i just think that's so funny But yeah, like I said, we used to go and do the most fun things together. Like our dad, my first time being in Houston. That's why it's so crazy living in Houston now. Cause I I can't help but like think about these memories. My first time ever being in Houston was with my dad and Khalil, my sister of course. And we went to the NASA Space Center. We went to Kima Boardwalk. Like we went everywhere. Places that like I've been living in Houston for over a year now. Places I still haven't even went to revisit because there's something honestly like keeping me from doing it because I don't want to remember the memories like I haven't been to the aquarium I haven't been to the museum I haven't been to NASA because those are all things that we did together we would do again together if he was still here so I try to kind of avoid those things I don't know if it's on purpose or not but I'll tell myself okay I'm gonna go and then I just never make it there and I think that that kind of does have something to do with it but yeah we have all the best memories going to all the most fun places um water parks everywhere tennessee kentucky texas indiana you name it we were there we were having a blast my dad definitely did his big one over summer vacations taking us everywhere so shout out to him for that because we really did enjoy ourselves even though we were little spoiled brats we definitely we definitely were like privileged and we definitely I'm, i'm definitely grateful today like even if it didn't seem like we were grateful back then like today we definitely are grateful to even have gotten to experience those experiences because today in this economy baby you can't just be going on them kind of trips so i'm glad that we was able to experience it when we did another really funny memory i can remember is 
the movie Moana. My first time ever watching that was with my sister and Khalil. I remember Khalil and I, we wanted to watch the movie Hush. It was on Netflix, like, the movie Hush. I think the, the girl, she was deaf, and, um, you know, the man was trying to rob her. But whatever, whatever. But we wanted to watch that. But she was like, I don't like scary movies, which is crazy because I don't like scary movies. But that wasn't a scary movie. But she was being the complainer, blah, blah, blah. So we ended up putting Moana on because that's what she wanted to watch. And Khalil was so freaking mad. He did not want to watch no darn Disney princess movie, but... It was so freaking good. Like, Moana was a good movie. So, shout out to my sister because I really enjoyed it. <laughs> but, yeah, he was really, really mad. And I can vividly remember that. And the last memory I want to talk about, y'all, this junk was so funny. So, first of all, I want to credit, really, I want to credit Savannah, Georgia. But I'm going to just say Georgia, period. I want to credit Georgia for coming up with this slang term. I don't know if people say this where you're from. But if somebody is getting on your nerves or if somebody is making you mad, we say you blowing me so say my dad made me mad this morning i be like man my dad blew me my dad blowing me so boom i was in tennessee with khalil and he was on the game with his friends so they're on the game i don't know i think they're playing 2k they're on the game and he has his microphone on and i forgot what khalil did he was making me so mad and i said khalil you blowing me right now you blowing me and he was like no you blowing me and I don't know if y'all know, but like, even though you have your microphone on, you can have the sound coming through the TV so I could hear when his friends responded. So they was like, whoa, 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 that's your sister, man. And I was like, oh my God, no, <laughs> like, that's not what it means, no. And even though like, I don't know, we were probably like, what, 14, 15, even though we were so young, just like knowing what that stuff is, first of all, way too fast for our own good, like, you know, as kids, like, you know what it is, but like, it was not that, like, it was just so crazy, like, it caught me completely off guard, and that's one of the funniest stories I can remember, I really like, to this day, wish he was here to tell the story with me, because that was just so crazy, unbelievable, but we have a million, but dillion more stories and more adventures to talk about, but those are like some of the heavy hitters that really, really just make me smile, and stories that should be told to honor his memory. So again, happy birthday, Khalil. So I really don't want to talk too much about the funeral because in my opinion, it's depressing. But um, one thing that I do want to say is the most beautiful thing about the funeral is the most sad thing about the funeral. It brings everybody together, right? It's a beautiful thing to be around everybody because you know it's not common that you're around all your family as, as you should be it's not common that you talk to all your family like we should and it was just an an eye-opening experience for me personally I feel like we should do more and I feel like my family does try to do more and I feel like a lot of the times people myself included can't or don't make it to certain family events and it's just really sad to think about it how you never really think about it until it's too late how much time you wish you could have spent with a person how much time you didn't know you had you know if you knew you had x amount of hours left you would make time to be there for that person so i say that to say just try your best to be there for your family try your best to make time for your family because you just never know when time's gonna run out So you mean to tell me it's my brother's 23rd birthday. Thank y'all so much for listening to our memories. Thank y'all so much for listening to what I had to say. Um, I know this was a bonus episode and it wasn't scheduled, but if you did take the time to listen, I really do appreciate you. Please make sure that you send this to anybody and everybody because there are a lot of people that are grieving in this day and age. It's a lot of things going on. It's a lot of unexpected deaths. It's just so much. And I just want people to know that they're not alone. I want people to know that even though on social media or on the outside looking in, it may look like somebody is okay. It may look like somebody is elevating and progressing in the world and just, you know, doing their big one and doing doing their best and that is very well true but at the same time you can still be grieving at the same time you can be hurting and that's me in my case I think about him all the time I think about him every day and it's just really hard when you go through a death so close to home when you go through a death that's just so close to home and honestly I don't even know how to talk about it sometimes so 
with that being said thank y'all so much for listening make sure you share make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you comment rate subscribe everything i'll see y'all on the next regular scheduled program so you mean to tell me bye